In today's video, we are running through the Dollar Tree and finding some really fun pieces that we can turn into gorgeous Mother's Day gift ideas, gifts that you will actually be proud to give. Please leave me a big thumbs up and let's get started. So first up, the easiest thing that you can make using Dollar Tree items is pretty much a gift basket. To make this look a little bit more not cheap, but a better gift, I love to pick items of the same color. They have some name brand items, some really cool stuff. I did upgrade to a Dollar General mug just because I love this one and it was the perfect color with mom on there. I picked this really pretty gold basket to go inside and then just some more lavender items. I found this little piece of fur fabric that I picked up with the matching color and just tried to play around with it, pile all the fun things in there and just make it look really cute. I thought adding some greenery would be the perfect contrast against this purple. I didn't like the succulent, the big ones, so I took it back out. But these little mini succulent bouquets are from Dollar General for just $1 each. And I thought they were adorable, so I'll definitely be picking up some more. But this came together really cute and a really fun gift to give. These little trinket box tulip containers really caught my eye. The colors are gorgeous. They have a fun detail on them. But to make them even more decorative and maybe a little bit more personal, I decided to pour a candle in here. This is so easy. I like to melt my candles in an older pot with some water until they melt down and then carefully pour them into any container that is like fire safe. So I like these. Now a lot of the times I don't even burn these or whoever I'm gifting them to. I tell them they don't have to burn them. They can just use them for decorative purposes. But I feel like it really just elevates each item. Even if you just kind of tilt the lid to the side, it makes a really cute piece and you can make a really fun note with this. I didn't want these to rattle around in like a gift bag or whatever I decided to gift these in, so I decided to tie them with a really cute piece of lace. If you wanted something a little bit less girly, maybe more decorative or look like everyday home decor, these little blue containers were incredible. You could pour candles in here. I decided to upgrade the candle to a Walmart candle. I got like a fun vanilla scent versus the unscented Dollar Tree candles. So I go ahead and melt that down the same way, pull the wicks out, put them in place. I like to hold every wick in place with a paintbrush just so I make sure that it's nice and like tall in the center pour the candles in there, let them cool down, and they're ready to gift. Although my local Dollar Tree hasn't been carrying resin, they still have resin supplies. So I picked up three of these coaster molds. And a really fun hack is that Dollar Tree doesn't have a ton of selection when it comes to resin accessories. So you can actually head on into the beauty section and pick up some nail glitter. And this is really fun to add into your resin. Any type of glitter is going to work, but this is gonna be more of a girly color rather than just like the gold musical notes that they had um, in my Dollar Tree. But even though Dollar Tree or my local one hasn't been carrying the resin. I actually prefer the Mod Podge brand resin. And I pick it up at Walmart. It's a little bit more pricey, but I get several projects out of this. This just took a little bit, but the directions on this is one part of the resin, one part hardener. So it's really easy just to put the two parts together and mix them together for the three to five minutes and then get to using it. I go ahead and pour my first layer into these molds let it um, set up for just a couple of minutes, start adding in my pressed flowers. I pick these up off of Amazon and then I let this completely dry before mixing up another small amount of the resin to cover this over the top. And that's just gonna help the flowers 
from like pushing all the way to the top, it's going to leave them sandwiched in between the two layers of resin. So it's exactly where I want it to be. I added some of that nail glitter on here and it's just a perfect touch. I used the tip of an old paintbrush to kind of mess around with the glitter and get in the flowers to get it to look exactly how I want and just making them a couple of different colors. But this is really fun. I love all resin pieces. Obviously, if you've watched my channel any at all, you know that I work with resin a lot. It's one of my favorites. It used to be so overwhelming, but it's really easy to work with. I do recommend wearing your mask and gloves and using the protection, reading the box and following all the safety protocols, but um, this was just super easy to put together. I do like to use my heat gun to pop all of the bubbles on the top so I get a nice clear finish. And then after these were completely cured, I went ahead and popped them out of their molds, just went around the edges with a little bit of gold paint for that extra touch, but these are gorgeous, a great gift idea, and I'll definitely keep some for myself. Next, I found these really cool little flat pieces. They stack up like a book. They have different sayings on them, but you could paint over them and put whatever you like. I actually like what it says. I thought the colors were perfect. They have a little design on top. I decided to make this one piece, so I ended up gluing these together. If you wanted to, you could wrap them with a piece of twine, like a real book set, but I found these little glass birds at Dollar Tree and I thought it would be the cutest thing to glue one of these right on top. I'm adding a lot of pink, so it just reminds me of Mother's Day. But this is the easiest five minute, not even five minutes, like 30 second craft that you can ever make. Just cost a few bucks to put together, but a gorgeous piece would be fun to give that you could also personalize. Okay, so another fun gift idea is to actually make your mom her own bookmarks. Really cute, but some, like, especially for a mom that loves to read, I thought these would be cute, really, like, personalized. But also, I found these mini little wood pieces at Dollar Tree. They're little stickers. I had a really fun idea to actually use them as stencils. It didn't work out, but you can see how I did save this project. But I used these beach balls just because it was a really thin, kind of like a balsa wood. So I just used my ruler as a guide and a utility knife or razor knife and cut out this shape. I actually liked how the top and the bottom were rounded. You could cut these off if you wanted to, but it just made it really easy. Got the perfect shape that I wanted. Whenever you score it a bunch and break it off, it like breaks away um, not perfect so you can easily run your scissors through there or the razor knife some more but just to get this easy bookmark shape and then you can start decorating it. In the crafter square section I found these thin little wooden words I thought were perfect like I mentioned I was going to use these as a stencil so I laid them down spray painted over it it just didn't work out in my favor so I had to end up removing them and then spray painting over these again. I just didn't feel like you could read the words very well so I ended up saving this by just spray painting the actual letters gold and then gluing them to the little bookmarks. I just spray painted it over it. You can kind of tell where I had my flowers and letters at which actually worked out in my favor. I could put them back where I wanted them to go. Use a little bit of clear E6000 to glue these down in place. I drilled a hole at the top so that I could make my own little tassel and these were really fun to put together. You could use your Cricut to cut out more of a personal message but I thought they were just a really fun idea. So I know gifting jewelry or custom personalized jewelry for Mother's Day is super popular. So it's really fun if you were to give like a jewelry or a bracelet or necklace a jewelry piece, you could make like a jewelry holder to go along with it. So Dollar Tree has these trays. They make them in small, medium, and large. So I looked for the largest tray that I could find. Went ahead and give it a nice coat of white paint because I want to put some pressed flowers on here and I really want them to show up. So painted this, let it completely dry. I added some Mod Podge and some of these gorgeous aqua colored flowers.
So to actually make this a high quality like jewelry tray, I wanted to pour resin over these flowers. I did worry because these flowers were so saturated with color that I was worried it would turn my resin blue, but it actually turned out really clear and perfect. I added some more of that nail glitter in there because I had the same aqua color, mixed up some more epoxy or resin in the Mod Podge brand, and then poured it over the top of this. It was kind of cloudy because I had so many bubbles. You have to mix this for so long. It does get a lot of bubbles in it, but if you use your heat gun or a hair dryer um, on the low setting, you can go over the top of it and it just kind of pops all the bubbles and brings the air out of it. So it has more of a crystal clear finish as well as not all of the bubbles. But just putting some jewelry on here, I think it's just really cute. You could personalize this as much as you wanted to, but a really fun gift idea.